Check my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop con, I pop pistols. What it do YouTube, my name is Bear Witness. welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about a new Battle Royale that just came to PlayStation 4. It's at least in the beta uh, stages, uh, Realm Royale. Now, because it's new to PS4, because people are asking for their beta codes and receiving their beta codes, and everybody's, they're starting to learn and play the game, and they, they I thought I would be dope, or it would be dope for me to release a tips and tricks video. Now, with this, I wanted to just explain some of the things that I learned in my first couple of days playing that aren't necessarily apparent in the basic training. Um, that um, I wanted to just, you know, relay that information on to you guys so you guys can have a better time and hopefully get a couple wins. Now, the first thing that I want to say is probably this. Picking your class defines what weapons you use. If you're using things that don't correspond with your class, you're immediately at a disadvantage. Now, each class, and I, I, I'm pretty sure this is relevant. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back in the game and uh, hopefully you know, get the images of this so I'll be able to pop them up on the screen. Each class has a different damage multiplier. Now, this is added on to the runes, but we'll talk about that in a little bit later. Now, the first thing is with these runes or with the, with the, with the different multipliers is this. Like, if I play as the warrior, I know that with the axes, the hammers, and the sword, I have a 20% bonus damage. If I play as the hunter, I know that the crossbows and the bows have another 20% damage buff. Now, this is on top of having other passives. So, picking your character at the beginning of the game, you know, you're pretty set on what you want to be, what you want to play as, and like how you're going to be able to affect the game. And as you do that, you'll get better at it. But the specific thing is using the right weapon that corresponds with your character. Now, at the beginning of the game, it's important to just go out and get your first kill. Like, there's no, if you have the weapon, you have it. If you don't, you don't. But there's that. Now, you're th I know what you're thinking. Oh, I want better weapons. Now, if you guys didn't know, there is a forge system in the game. It's a, uh, t it looks like a hammer on top of a desk or something like that. And it's the golden areas on each and every location. Now, yeah, with that, you guys head to the forge. When you build a weapon, because they have a, a choice of building health potions, building armor potions, building um, a weapon, a rune, an ability, and I think that's it. Or I think a chicken upgrade, maybe, or a revival thing. Anyways, when you build these items they become um they the weapon that you choose will be tailored for your class so the goal in the first area that you drop potentially is to either prioritize health or prioritize weaponry now i personally like to go ahead and get my armor pots out the way and then i prioritize my weapon from there i kind of just decide on what i want for the rest of the game now the first thing that I would suggest is that you get accustomed to your character and what character you like, and then you kind of work your way around that. Next, there is it is very important that you guys listen to this one because just because you can build things at a forge, there is a system in play, which is a really nice one actually, to where you cannot stay at the same forge and keep building the same item. So if you build a sword at one forge you can't build another sword at, an, at the same forge does that make sense hopefully that makes sense now this it requires makes you requires you to move around and stuff like that it's 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 really nice it's a really nice feature now what's cool about this is that every character has its own strengths and weaknesses in a way but ultimately you're gonna be op so the last circle is going to always be the hardest you should expect like literally the heart not just because of the players but because everybody has pretty much one shotable items like late game it is very uh decisive on if you hit them how many shots you hit them so i recommend a lower sensitivity not super low not super like like more of like a medium level sensitivity um uh, I think I play on like 30 X and Y or 33 X and Y. So it's not too high. It's not too low, but it's able for me to hit my shots when I need to, because at late game, it's very, very, very important for you to be very precise 
and um, pretty much that's the only tips I have for you guys you know generally uh, it's the same battle royale tips you know if you wanted that I like to kind of sit next to the forge that's another one that I'll give you guys if I'm in an area I pretty much try to stay next to the forge and this is for one reason only if I am at the forge and it is a fresh forge for me I can build um, armor pots and that only takes 30 seconds now when I build these armor pots I can have them sit there and in the middle of the fight I can literally come back get my health pot hide pop my armor pot or that's what I meant earlier my armor and then be back in the fight so I kind of like to gravitate around them it helps out a lot but you know it's kind of a pick your poison type of thing if you're in the forge you have a high chance of people hearing you and contesting you now I don't mind that but if you're new to the game and you're not as confident I wouldn't recommend staying too close to the forge on a regular basis now um, that being said that's a good uh that's that's pretty much all i have to tell you guys in this one as i learn more about the game i will present you guys with more tips and tricks actually this game is kind of fun i really do enjoy the realm royale um in, its, in itself i think it's going to be very awesome especially after it gets cross play and everybody's able to play with each other but um I definitely think that this is this is one of those battle royales that are just kind of fun to play play with. It might not ever become one of the most popular, but it is definitely notable on the genre as more and more battle royales come out. I think there's like five of them coming out in 2019, so uh, it, it's definitely fun. It's just something cool for if you get like upset with one of the other games, you can just kind of come to this and chill out. And you know, the game doesn't seem like it takes itself that seriously, and it's just kind of fun. I mean, you turn into a chicken. I mean, I don't know, I, I, <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out all, at all, make sure you guys leave a like down below, as well as if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys click that sub and that bell, join up on the unbearable, and make sure that you guys stop by and get the notifications. So, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.